In this FL Studio tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the AeroPad Patcher preset to sound design and manipulate pads inside of Harmer. Just to give you a heads up, I did do a tutorial on the secret hidden synths inside of Patcher using XY's Labs, AeroPad, Laramore, Reezer, Vocatcher, and Wobbler to manipulate Harmer. Definitely check out that tutorial if you haven't already. That will give you a general idea of what Patcher is capable of in terms of manipulating Harmer. So to get to AeroPad, all you have to do is just load up an FL Studio Patcher, the instrument version inside of your channel rack, and then you go to Presets, go to XY Labs, and click AeroPad. If you want to check out what AeroPad is actually doing to Harmer, you could go into the Map section, double click on Harmer, and then pull this off to the side, which is what I recommend if you're trying to learn how to sound design inside of Harmer. So this is what AeroPad sounds like right off the bat. Really chill, really mellow. It sounds like a pad. So, so the first thing that we're gonna do, we're gonna take a look at this XY pad. This is gonna control your cutoff frequency and your resonance. So this is basically shaping the, to the overall tone of your arrow pad. We can go darker, we can go brighter. Let's keep it right about here. Not too much resonance and we darkened it a little bit. Once you found your relationship between your cutoff and your resonance, you could go in and low pass this or high pass this even further. If you're not familiar with low passing, that just makes it darker because it allows all the low frequencies to pass through. And then the opposite with high pass, it'll allow the high frequencies to pass through, which is what you'll hear through your speakers instead. So if I decrease these both completely, we won't hear anything. If I increase this, you'll get more of the low signal. like it right about there. I don't want too many sub frequencies, so I definitely want to use that high pass. This pre effects slider is controlling the volume going into your effects. So your distortion, your chorus, your delay and reverb. So for now, it's really just making it louder. But as soon as you increase your distortion or turn on your chorus, delay or reverb, you'll hear a more dramatic effect. So I'm going to put that back to normal, reset that. And then I'm going to increase the distortion, change the order of the chorus to, mm, let's try five, engage the delay and engage the reverb. So now here's the fun part, these knobs. This is really gonna dramatically change the sound here. So we have tremolo, which is trem right here. That's referring to this section right here. If you're not familiar with tremolo, it literally just adds vibration to the sound where it sounds like the sound is coming in and out. Let's just take a listen. right there. Now we have unison. So this is referring to this section right here. This is going to thicken the sound, make it sound wider and bigger. Pay attention to what this changes as I increase the unison here. You can hear how it almost becomes mono as I turn this all the way down. And then if I increase it all the way, it gets a little too crazy. So there's always going to be that in between, which is what you're looking for. That sounds pretty big, pretty rich but you could go in here and really adjust this to your liking. So I'm going to play this and listen to how this changes as I change the order and switch this from classic to the other settings here.
I think you could see already that it's ridiculously easy to get really massive and really high quality sounds using the presets inside of Patcher to adjust Harmer here. Especially when you go in and further adjust Harmer once you get an idea of what the preset is adjusting. Back to Aeropad, we do have an attack and release setting, so you don't have to use this as a pad. You could actually use this as a lead. Just increase, just decrease the attack, and now you have a nice little pluck at the beginning. And then you might want to decrease that tail so that it, it really is more of a pluck. That would be perfect to arpeggiate. Let's give a little tail here and then it'll sound more like keys. I probably should have showed you that last. We still have the phaser, the blur, and the vibrato. Phaser is controlling this section right here, so pay attention to that as I play. You can hear it's adding a little extra movement around the frequencies there. And then once again, you could go in and adjust the phaser itself. I really love the harm feature on Harmer's phaser. It sounds freaking amazing. And that is actually referring to the harmonizer here, I believe. So we're getting cross modulation between the phaser and the harmonizer. Don't quote me on that. That is just my guess. Next we have the blur knob and that's referring to this section right here. <laughs> And all the blur is changing is the amount of harmonic blur that we're getting. So again, I believe this is referring to the harmonizer. So once you dial in your different settings here, I would recommend going into the harmonizer and switching this up a bit because it will adjust your phaser and your blur reactions too. <laughs> Again, I will have an in-depth tutorial on Harmer and the different settings and the blur here. I'll be able to explain all of this a lot further than what I'm doing in this tutorial right here. But for now, I just want to show you how to easily create these patches. So let's move on to vibrato. Not to be confused with tremolo. The tremolo is adjusting the volume of the sound while the, vib while the vibrato is adjusting the pitch of the sound going up and down. <laughs> actually sounds pretty good right about there. And then you have SG right here, which I'm not entirely sure what SG stands for. I've made up some words in my head, maybe like sound gain or source gain or something like that. But either way, this is increasing the amount of compression. Then you can go in and change your compression settings here. Right now we're on burning. You could switch this to, to more limiting or warming or heating. I actually like how it sounds with warming. And then you have a little bit of multi-band compression here where you can control the amount of compression on the lows, the mids, or the highs. Um, 
And then last but not least, you have your post effects knob. And this is literally just the volume of your overall sound at the end of your processing. One last tip after you dial in your settings, feel free to move the XY pad around a little bit. Alright, if you have any questions about AeroPad or Harmer, definitely leave them in the comments below and I'll be sure to answer them in the upcoming videos. Again, I have tutorials coming up on the different Patcher presets that adjust Harmer itself, and that way you could really learn how to sound design Harmer without going into the deep and dirty details of Harmer itself. In the future, I will have a full Harmer tutorial where you will learn all the deep, dirty details about Harmer. But until then, I hope these Patcher presets help you out. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Subscribe if you haven't already. Peace out.